a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Byron Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. I think it's time to go home, everyone. Let's take that <laughs> Well done, Harry. Story makers. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? Sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hi, story makers. I'm Byron. Byron Wordsworth, here to make some magic and lots of stories. Yeah. Oh. What are we going to do today, Jelly? Um, well, I thought we were going to make stories. Oh, yes, but as well as making stories. Um... <gasps> I, I know, know what, what we, we can, can do, do today. today. <laughs> <laughs> Box, Box printing. printing. <laughs> <laughs> the children in the library today were printing pictures of city buildings. Oh. Look, you can see the shape of them against the sky. <laughs> Tall blue one there, and one with lots of windows. Oh. Uh, Jelly, are you using that big box? Yes, oh. I'm using it. Okay, I'll use this small one then to make small oh. buildings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, where's the small box? Um, well, it's here, oh. Jelly. Uh, but I need it, Jackson. Well, so do I. Well, well you can have the big box. No, oh, but mm -hmm. jelly. Oh. Swap. Okay. Yes. You have the little one. Mm -hmm. I have the big one. Yeah. I hadn't really finished with the small one. No, I have. I finished her <laughs> blue houses. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Jackson, look at my city picture. Mm. Mm. I think I'm going to put my picture in the story machine. <laughs> oh, no, but I want to make a story first. Well, no, I thought of it first. Yes, but you haven't finished and I want to make a story with this blue box. That's not fair. It was my idea first. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, you it always go first, no, Jelly. I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. Yes, you do. Oh, 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 a lot first. of noise. Oh, oh, oh hello, baby. Hi, <laughs> Are you guys arguing? I want to make a story with my picture. Well, I want to do it. No, I do. No, I, I want to do. my story. How do you think we're going to solve this? Yes, yes, well. no, I want to do it. What a good I idea. Want to make a Why don't they take it in turns? With my picture. I do. All right, guys, 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 look. Chill. Oh. Mm? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why don't you take it in turns? Uh, okay, Byron. Uh. Uh, but I want to go first. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm going to take this and mm. hide it in one of my hands. Mm -hmm. Now, if you guess which hand it's in, uh -huh. then it's your turn. Oh, okay. But if you don't, yes. well, well, you'll have to wait for your turn next time round, OK? Yeah. Cool? Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, mm. Cosmic. Cosmic. <laughs> Cosmic. <laughs> All right. Are you hiding it? Uh, yes, yeah. OK. OK. Choose the hand to make a story. Uh, that, that one. one. That, that one is Jax, yeah? Mm -hmm. Jelly? Yes, that okay. one. Okay. Mm. The hand is chosen, the deed is done. Which story maker has won? Oh, oh, it's uh, jelly. I won, I won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair's fair. Jackson, it's your turn next time, okay? Yes, okay. Uh, but Byron, mm. I want to make a story with that blue box. Mm. <laughs> this blue box? Yes, yes. Uh, maybe it'll make a blue cow story. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Will you help us? Mm -hmm. Imagine. Imagine. 
Imagine. Imagine a Bleak House Story. <laughs> and it's called Blue Cow and the Troublesome Twins. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow heard the sound of some children playing in the distance. I wonder what it would be like to have a good play. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where I can play with someone, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a playground. And then they arrived. Blue Cow was in a playground. There were lots of fun things to play on. Ooh, I think I might have a go on that roundabout. Then Blue Cow heard voices. They seemed to be arguing. I want to go. No, I want to go. My go. My go. There were two children, but there was only one swing. They were both trying to get onto the swing at the same time. Hello, I'm Blue Cow. Do you need some help? I'm Lawrence and this is my twin brother Barney and I want to go on the swing. Well, you can't, said Barney. Just go away. You go away. No, you go away. No, you. No, said Blue Cow. I see the problem. There's only one swing, so you can't go on it at the same time. The twins nodded. Why don't you take it in turns, suggested Blue Cow. Take it in turns? What's that? asked Barney. It means one of you has a go first and then the other, said Blue Cow. Barney, you can go first. So Barney climbed on the swing and Blue Cow gave him a push. He kept swinging for a bit. Wee! Wee! Now it's your turn, Lawrence, said Blue Cow. Barney got off the swing and Lawrence got on. Blue Cow started pushing Lawrence. Wee! After a bit, Lawrence said, Why don't you have a turn too, Blue Cow? Moo, a fancy a bit of a swing. So Blue Cow got on the swing and Lawrence and Barney gave her a good push. Ooh, this is fun, cried Blue Cow. Now we've all had a turn. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a playground and went on the swing. Everyone knows that cows can't play on swings. But we know they can, don't we? Uh, we know how to take it in turns, don't we, Jackson? Oh, oh yes, Jenny, yes. Mm. You've had your turn to make a story. Yeah. So, now it's my turn. Oh, but what about my turn? <laughs> oh, you say <saying laughs> I could go next play <laughs> with. That's not fair. OK, OK, Jax, I'm only teasing. <laughs> what are you going to put in the meme machine? <laughs> my city picture. Oh. <laughs> in it goes. <laughs> Will you help me? Imagine, imagine, imagine the story. It's a playbook. And it's called Look What I Can See. My name's Jessica, and I've come with my mum, my friend Grace, and her mum. We're going on a ride. I'm going first. Grace is following me. Can you guess where we are? We're in London. And this is a big wheel called the London Eye. It's just like a big wheel at a fun fair, but much bigger. It's so big that when you're at the top, you can see right across London.
Oh, look! There's a boat down there on the river. I wonder if they can see us. Let's wave to them. Look, there's another boat. Can you see any more boats on the river? Look, there are lots of tiny ants on the grass. No, they're not. They're people. They're so far down, they look as tiny as ants. And look at those people in the pod next to us. I wonder if they can see us. Let's wave to them. Look over there. That tall, thin building has a clock at the top of it. It's called Big Ben. Look at all the tall buildings in the city. But I'm taller than all of them. I'm the king of the castle. Look, there's a red double-decker bus driving across the bridge. And it's driving past Big Ben. I wonder if I can see any more buses. There's one down there, look! Goodbye! <laughs> that was a great story, Jackson! Mm, they went up really high! Yes, yes, and they spied lots of buildings, didn't they? Mm -hmm. In in uh, where were they, Byron? <laughs> in London. In oh, London, yes. Yes. Uh, Yeah, and I know a song about London. Oh, so do I, so do I. I'll oh. sing I'm, for I'm you. I'm going to sing <coughs> it. No, 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 it's my turn, Jenny. No, no, it's my London's turn, Jackson. London's burning. London's burning. Fetch the engine. It's my turn. Fetch the engine. No. No. Fetch no, the engine. Fetch the engine. Fetch the engine. Fetch the engine. Whoa, whoa, guys, guys. Byron, Byron, Jackson won't let me have a turn at but it's my turn to go first, baby. Look, look, look. Why don't we all take a turn and sing something together? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, but, but okay. What shall we sing? Oh. I'll give you a clue, yeah? Oh. See if you can guess. Oh. Right, what's the magic word? Abracaguess. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. The man with the dress says, Abracaguess. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's your clue. Oh. Who am I? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, can we have another clue, please? Mm. <sighs> OK, OK. <laughs> Oh, oh, you do look funny. Mm. <laughs> I know who you are. Huh? You're Wee Willy Winky. <laughs> At last! <laughs> Come on, sing along with me. Okay. Why don't you join in too? Yeah. Wee Willy Winky runs through the town. Upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown. Rapping at the windows, crying at the locks. Are the children all in bed? It's past eight o'clock. <laughs> Hooray! Oh. Oh. Time for a story, I think. Mm. And it's my turn. Oh. Right. Yeah, Byron. Uh, will we really Winky be in the story, Jackson? Really? Well, I hope so, Jelly. Uh. <laughs> I'll be glad to put this in. Mm. <laughs> will you help with your imagination? Imagine. Imagine, imagine a story. It's a three bear story. Oh. And it's called Wee Willy Silly Billy. There's a house in the woods that's cosy and neat, where three furry creatures are waiting to eat. The porridge is ready. Hip, hip, hooray! Come for breakfast with the three bears today. Poor Father Bear. All he wanted was some peace in the morning to eat his breakfast. But who could that be knocking at the door? Baby Bear skipped over to answer it. If it's Goldilocks, tell her to come back later. 
She's a proper nuisance, said yeah. Father Bear. But it wasn't Goldilocks. It was a funny-looking man who was wearing his nightgown and carrying a clock. Hello, I'm Wee Willy Winky. I run round the town. Oh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Upstairs. <laughs> and downstairs. In my nightgown. Making sure that all the children are tucked up in bed. Why aren't you asleep, baby bear? It's bedtime by my clock. But I'm not sleepy. I've only just got up. Groaned Baby Bear. Mm. Um, it isn't bedtime, Mr Winky. <laughs> He's a wee willy silly billy, if you ask me. <laughs> but wee willy Winky wasn't listening. Mm. Don't worry. I'll have Baby Bear asleep in no time with a sprinkly dinkle of this sleepy dust. But, um, no. Go to sleep, <laughs> little bear. <laughs> But the sleepy dust didn't make Baby Bear feel sneezy. It made her feel sneezy. <laughs> Sprinky dinkles indeed. Oh. oh, well. A lullaby toot on my magic flute should do the trick. Cuddle down now, Baby Bear. But the tooting flute didn't make Baby Bear feel like sleeping. It made her feel like hopping and leaping. Mr Winky, it's not bedtime. No, no. It's breakfast time, <laughs> said Mother Bear impatiently. Oh, it sounds like your clock has stopped. It isn't ticking and it isn't talking. It says bedtime, but it's wide awake time. No! I think it needs winding up. Baby Bear wound up the clock and it started to tick-tock. You're a very clever little bear. What a silly Billy I am. Oh, well, we all make mistakes. What about staying for a bowl of porridge, Mr Winky? Thank you. They all sat down to a porridgey feast and Mother Bear added a special treat. It's hundreds and thousands today. Oh, hundreds and thousands. Yum, yum. Cook in, everyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we really got this time on, madam, mm. because his clock stopped. <laughs> he didn't know what time it was. <laughs> I know what time it is. Mm -hmm. Look, it's getting light. <laughs> oh, yes, it's time for us to go. Mm. we better skedaddle. skedaddle. Yes, the children will be coming to the library soon. <laughs> Dawn is upon us, the morning is nigh, we've made our stories, and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are popular, stories are popular. Come back and see us soon. See you later, story maker.